So being able to hit controlled pitch shots, even chip shots, we need to understand where the golf ball needs to be in relation to us. Or in another way, we need to find out where we need to be in relation to the ball. So we'll hear a lot about for chipping, pitching, you know, move that ball back so you can hit down on it. I really want to have that ball in the same position. Through trial and error, my swing, my club, always wants to hit in that spot. So I need to have the ball in that spot so I can freewheel it and just let my swing happen. I don't have to do anything different to try and hit that ball. So when we hear move the ball back, a lot of people will do it like this. They'll move their whole body forward and now that ball is a good three inches further back from where they normally strike the ground. So they've moved way forward of the ball or moved the ball back, whatever you want to call it. So now they're out of position where their whole body is ahead of the ball and they're creating a really steep approach down onto the, the hit. And from there, it's really hard to get the ball up in the air unless you then try and scoop it. So the better option is to keep that ball relative to the left foot and to me so I know all the time that my club is going to bottom out where that ball is. So I will try and set myself up based on that. If I wanted to play a regular shot, that would be my stance. If I wanted to play a lower shot, I would keep my left foot and ball the same, narrow my right foot just a little. So now it looks like I've shifted the ball back. But truth is, my club head, left foot, everything is still going to want to hit that ball in the same spot. And because I'm now ahead of the ball, but not fully ahead of the ball, so I haven't shifted the ball way back, it just looks further back because of my right foot. Now I'm still in position to get that little downward strike and clip that ball nicely. If I wanted to play a higher shot, I'd just widen my feet out probably open my stance a bit and we can see that ball looks further back now as opposed to having a square stance. So visually everything changes based on my alignment and based on the width of my right foot. But what I really want to do is have that ball, if I want to hit a full shot, that club and left arm and shaft want to line up there. If I want to hit a shorter shot, I'm still in position. I'm just a little bit more ahead of the ball. Created my little downward hit by my setup. If I want to hit it higher, get wider, lower. Ball's in the same spot. Just looks different because I've opened up and I'm wider. But I'm still level or ahead of the ball because I'm staying in my left. My club is always hitting in the same spot. So we can adjust the look of the shot based on our setup of our right foot and where I put my body. So I don't want to go shifting the ball around. I want to keep it very relative to my left foot. Lower shot, I'm going to feel that I'm ahead of the ball a little bit with my top half. How? By narrowing my right foot. Higher shot, wider, lower feels like I'm behind the ball but of course I still got to get somewhere near the ball to get that club to work under it so I still feel back here but I'm still ahead there ball same same spot so I'm not having to manipulate or do anything extra I've learned where to be with myself in relation to that ball to make the high low regular further shot happen for me without having to try do anything extra practice that get used to where it has to be to get the shots that you want and then you'll be well on your way to saving strokes on the course hi i'm bradley hughes if you want to play better golf come see me at bradleyhughesgolf.com